3 m AccuGlide heads and 3M tapes ensure consistent and secure case sealing. Welcome to the overview of the 3M taping head family. This segment provides a look at the basic purpose and operation of 3M AccuGlide taping heads. 3M taping heads are typically mounted in 3M case sealers. They can also be used in converting other case sealers or in custom equipment. There are several different AccuGlide taping heads available to accommodate many container sizes and styles. The two most often used in 3 matic case sealers are the AccuGlide 2 Plus and the AccuGlide 3. The AccuGlide 2 Plus applies tape at conveyor speeds of up to 80 feet per minute. It comes in a 2 inch version capable of applying tapes from 1.5 to 2 inches and a 3 inch version capable of handling tapes from 2 to 3 inches. The AccuGlide 3 also comes in 2 and 3 inch versions but is designed to operate at conveyor speeds up to 100 feet per minute. First, let's take a quick look at a typical 3M case sealer and the taping process. For our example, we'll be using a 3Matic Model 200A case sealer. Let's see how it works. Basically, a box is placed on the conveyor and pushed into the drive belts. The drive belts convey the box to the taping heads. The AccuGlide taping heads apply tape at the leading end of the box, continuing along the center seam to the trailing end. This is called a C-clip application. The taping heads cut the tape as it's being applied. After the box is securely sealed, it exits the case sealer. Taping heads usually function in pairs to tape two seams of a case. When they tape the top and bottom of a case, the heads are mounted in the upper lower configuration. Taping heads can also be mounted to tape a case lying on its side. Before we go into more depth on the taping head, let's briefly review containers and 3M tapes. In most applications, 3M AccuGlide tape heads are used to seal regular slotted containers or RSCs. RSCs are made of corrugated fiberboard and have some variation in style, size, and board weight. All RSCs have these characteristics. The flaps are of equal length. The space between the inner flaps varies depending upon the length and width of the case. The lengthwise flaps, usually the outer flaps, meet at the center of the case forming the seam. Please note that when referring to case size and dimensions, people who work with case sealing equipment use the outside dimensions of the case relative to the machine capacity. Packaging engineers and purchasing agents refer to the inside dimensions relative to the product they have to package. When we refer to case dimensions in these segments, we'll always be referring to the outside dimension. As we mentioned, RSCs are constructed of corrugated fiberboard. Cases with AccuGlide taping heads and 3 matic case sealers are usually one of two constructions either single wall or double wall configuration with the vast majority being single wall. Double walled RSCs are mainly used for packaging heavy products where high stacking strength is required or where additional protection is desired during transportation. The flaps on these cases are stiffer and harder to fold than with single wall corrugated cases. Now that we've seen some of the characteristics of the containers, let's examine the 3M brand tape that is used to seal the case. AccuGlide taping heads are designed to be used with 3M pressure sensitive film box sealing tape. The tape rolls come in a variety of widths, colors, lengths, and constructions. The 3M tape used for an application varies depending on several factors. The edge crush or burst test rating of the corrugated, the weight of the case and contents, the value of the contents, and the method that will be used for shipping. Let's discuss some of the tape characteristics. All 3M box sealing tapes are pressure sensitive and have adhesive on one side. The other side has an easy release coating. Between the two is the backing. The easy release coating allows smooth uniform release from the roll when unwinding, which provides a consistent tape unwind to the taping head. This results in uniform high quality application to the case. The other side of the tape, the adhesive side, determines how the tape initially adheres to the case and how well it continues to hold after it's been applied. Adhesives have properties called tack and shear. Tack is the initial adhesion to the case. It must be adequate for the tape to adhere and start the application. Shear strength, also referred to as holding power, is the ability of the tape to withstand a lateral force. This is the force of the case slaps and contents pushing outward. This force applies pressure to the top end legs and attempts to pop them loose. The third component of the tape we'll discuss is the backing. 
The tape backing has two characteristics, tensile strength and elongation. Tensile strength is the resistance of the backing to breakage. Critical points for tensile strength are the case edges and the center seam. Elongation is the amount that a material can stretch before it breaks. Elongation determines the shock absorbing quality of the tape. If the backing doesn't have adequate elongation to absorb the shock, then the shock can be transferred to the adhesive. This could cause the tape to loosen or break. 3M tapes are balanced to provide optimum case sealing capability. The customer's application determines the tape and type of case that it will be using. In return, the case and tape affect the performance of the taping head. The taping head should be set to accommodate these different needs. We'll demonstrate setup and adjustment procedures in another segment.